What's up guys, it's your boy Damone and welcome back to another video. Uh, today guys, we're just gonna talk about something really, really quick. Um, I know this is gonna be something that a lot of people are gonna have a question about and that my friends is, what do you do with silver coins? Because you guys are going to find these throughout and initially when you pick them up, what's gonna happen is you're gonna be, you know, taking damage because you're not gonna have any silver resistance. So you're gonna be like, what the hell do I do with these? Fortunately, these coins are available in the game and there are certain merchants that are also in the game that are human that you'll be able to interact with not as a vampire of course um, and use these coins to purchase goods so things like explosives things like uh, hats and and cosmetics and different uh, things that can help you throughout your journey if you happen to have enough coin now these items typically tend to not be that cheap uh what i've seen they run about 200 coins uh minimum and carrying the coins itself in itself is a problem because the more silver you carry uh based on your resistance the more damage you take over time which can essentially kill you so this is something that you guys can look at uh you could even potentially have your clan mates split <laughs> the coin value so maybe you guys are all carrying a little bit of coins each that add up to the item that you're trying to purchase uh, but this is something that you guys are definitely looking at uh to use now if you guys are wondering well if you can't talk to him as a vampire how do you actually trade well what's going to happen is essentially you're going to get an ability um that allows you to transform into a human uh now while you transform into a human this is going to allow you to interact with uh characters that are in human settlements traders and things of that nature as long as you're not caught uh, from what i found the higher like if there's a huge level disparity between you and where you're sneaking into, uh, it's easier for them to detect your disguise per se, uh, but I'm still kind of in the phase of testing this, but I've been able to use this pretty effectively uh, to check out the wares and the stuff of the merchants and all that that uh, have been roaming around, all right? So there's still a place because there's actually a full human city that you can actually raid and ransack if you want to. I have to double check and see if there's any traders in there that sell maybe some really good goods, good goods. But uh, I'll, I'll definitely let you guys know uh, when we find that out. But if you guys wanted to know what exactly to do with these coins, I just wanted to give you a heads up. So just in case you're not throwing these away, <laughs> because there's some pretty good things that you could buy from these shops. So anyway, guys, that's all I wanted to cover today. If you guys got any questions, comments, concerns, definitely let me know in the comment box below and I'll be happy to assist. And we'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.